Oh, Red Queen 7, and welcome back to Strategic Command American Civil War. We are going to be continuing on our campaign as the Union. Um, we are in November 61, so we are, what, six months into the war? And it's very much in that kind of opening phase of the game. Um, Missouri and it did flip against us, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a mess at the minute. Ducky has now joined on our side, so we're rushing across to try and uh, well, threaten Nashville as well as protect this area. Um, in the east, we haven't got very far on the road to Richmond at all, really. It's a bit of a bit of a World War One scenario going here. Let me zoom up to see. But we did make good progress down the Shenandoah Valley. However, we've had some partisans in Philippi have caused us a few problems. Apart from that, we were enacting a naval blockade, which is going very successful, and we have um, uh, embarked, as we're looking for, a couple of marine units and a regular... Uh, I think I've, no, I've got some regular units ready to go behind, and we're going to do a naval invasion and try and seize Norfolk. Seems like a good place to start. In that, our somewhat slightly um, deviation from history, we have brought Garibaldi to the cause. So, uh, Giuseppe Garibaldi, who historically did offer to help the Union, but it never quite worked out. Um, we not only have taken him on board, we've put him in charge of our entire army. So, uh, yeah, General Garibaldi. But he is a level 7 with huge amounts of experience and drops a couple of level 3 experience cores, so... So far, so good with this with this outcome, although that is the reason Missouri went against us. Uh, we are approaching the end of our turn, so we'll click the button, we'll see what the con Confederates do. Uh, I did do want to do a couple of things. I was having a look at the game before we kicked things off, and... Oh yeah, we're just holding it Beckley, that's fine. Although we may, we may not have anyone in. I think we know there's someone down in White available, we'll look at it later. Um, sorry, things I wanted to do was bring our Timberclad down towards the action. Spotted that. Uh, this is fine. I wanted to bring our um, our garrison unit down from Pleasant Hill, down towards the front. And there was one other thing, two other things. One we're gonna ah, okay. One we're gonna talk about uh, uh, in a minute, and one is just as I want to protect. This little dude here. I'm going to just bring him back to here. I suspect. I don't even know if he can make it there, actually. I was going to say, I suspect he'll just flank me and kill it, but he may not have the movement. But, um, yeah, a bit more Confederate strength than we were perhaps expecting, and they're probably going to nick these, these mines from us. But we'll see what we can do. We're about numbered there. Okay, the very last thing I want to do. Um was replace McDowell. So McDowell, he's a level 2, right? That's pretty rubbish. We've got lots of level 4s. And these guys do give bonuses to the number of units under, underneath them. It's only 3 at the minute, I think. So if you click on them twice, you should be able to see the units under his command. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's 5 at the minute. That's a reasonable number. In my head, I thought it was less than that. Okay, so... And you can see it. it it's... Uh, you do a lot better if you start micromanaging these things because... Um... We have all these units who are being controlled by McDowell, who's only a two. So actually, if they were controlled by Haldek, or Halleck, sorry, they'd get a much better uh, uh, attack chance. They'd have higher rolls, if you want a better word. Um, and for maybe seeing better odds. But I'm going to spend 60 points, which is next to nothing, to replace him with, uh, I don't know, let's go for Curtis. 60 MPP, that's not a lot of money. But quite a lot of money, that's fine. We've also got Hooker coming in, um, and... Get Garibaldi. So Hooker, I think. I think Hooker's going to potentially come down here. Although we do have Butler as well. There else maybe one? Maybe not massively at the minute. We'll see. We're doing okay for HQs. But I think that was a good replacement anyway. I mean, another thing done, I could just send him to the back row and brought Hooker forward and it would have sorted themselves out. But long run, this is better. Okay, uh, maybe just double check uh, or re recheck what we're doing in terms of diplomacy. So we're, we're going native policy at the minute. Can't influence the Puebla, the Navajo, and the Apache. Um, and actually, make reasonable progress in the Apache. We might flip them towards us. Navajo, I think, is just slowing down the inevitable. Uh, and Pueblo is speeding up the inevitable. Hello, Zyphorius. I hope you're well this evening. And will just quick check on the research. So we've had uh, a first tick of tactics for infantry and cavalry. So that impacts our... Um, uh, well, a lot of things. Artillery defense value, but mainly our morale. So higher morale, so we our units, plus we do a little bit more health damage. This is good. Um, and we've got a couple of key ones coming in terms of leadership. 
So Field Telegraph, which lets them uh, control more units, and Leadership, which actually just increases them all by one. One, I'm a little nervous. We're lagging behind on this core organization. It allows us to buy cores, which is the next size of unit up. Uh, so once this Field Telegraph pops, rather than reinvest, I might move that 150 over to four just to get that one ticking a little bit faster. Um, and then we're concentrating on logistics and production and all that good stuff. Okay, that's all we're probably going to do to start. Uh, let's just hit the, hit the turn, see what the Confederates start with, and then we'll propose our response. I'm excited to see how this um, naval malarkey, invasion malarkey, ends up. I'm hopeful, given that we keep um, hammering Norfolk, we'll be okay. Oh, and production technology level one. Good, so that's cheaper um, replacements and purchases. Sorry, I'll try, and, I'll try and just slurp my tea. Oh, I don't... I don't know, the whole, the whole unit packing boats and stuff, it seems very odd to me. It works. I need some spotting over here badly. Oh, that's not that's not a good start. Big blue spinny wheel. Um, also, it's Philip. He's kind of exposed. If I get a couple of units over here, maybe swing this guy over. Eventually, cut him off. Start to work away along that. Oh, it hasn't died. Good. I really struggled for a minute there. in a bit of trouble. Ah, take that, you filthy rebels. Okay. Damage evaded. So these are uh, rangers, I think. They have a 25% 20, chance, I do believe, of evading damage. Let's forward, okay. Work in my favour. Yeah, he did make it. Unfortunate. I might reform him in the east actually do some partisan stuff for us. That's probably what I'll do because there's one here which we will take eventually. I think there's one up uh, near. Uh, what's it called? Winchester. Okay, France is invading Mexico. So I understand the way it works is if the Confederates pull in France as an enemy in the Civil War, then you get to control the Mexican units. It becomes a bit more World War-y. Hey, Compass Rose. Uh, all is well, thank you. I hope the same is with yourself. Okay, uh, so they took Bowling Green, Cook Spring. And we disrupt a whole bunch of convoys. Ooh, okay, we've got an ironclad. River ironclad. Dropping the river somewhere. Well, down here seems to be where the action is, so let's put them down here. Got a bunch of marines. I would like some more units in Kentucky. Ah, there's bowling green there. In Kentucky. Um I want to put some pressure on Nashville. Let's Who's the best place? Here and then it could be here, I could rail them down. So. Don't know, mind. Uh, Custer's Cavalry Division. I'm Kentucky or out in Missouri. You could potentially come in and help us clear up this uh, bit of a mess. Anything further this way? No, no. Yeah, we'll put him out in near Cairo. Siege artillery. Presumably one over here, and I just want to check actually for you. 
before we place that, come back to later. Let's go to uh, purchase. What is it? Siege artillery. Here we go. Attack values. Artillery 3, 4, 6. So it does nothing against people. Apart from demoralizes them. We'd be better somewhere we're trying to burst through forts. Hmm, which may be down there. I actually may end up over here. Let's break out these forts a little bit. Alright, we'll put that down. We're going very very heavy over here, but sure, some siege artillery. The rangers, I want to put them out west, so they're going to have to start here and work their way over. Uh, how, how big a rail movement really ends there? Pointing. And another thing. Let's put him. Again, we'll try and maybe bust some fort. Uh, again, I want to check the what are the river boats? There is uh, abilities against the fort. So it's a little bit interesting. It's just fort. So our let's say our river uh, river gunboats are three. Timberclads are also three. Ironclads are also three. So they all have the same attack values against the fort. As does gunboats. As does frigates. Shipper line is better, monitor is better, ironclad is even better, but obviously I think they're restricted in where they can go. But that's good to know, good knowledge to, to have there, understanding how the ships beat up each of the forts. Okay, first up, let's uh, move our marines down. Where's our second order? Oh, can you come down and disembark? Yes. Okay. Why are you at five? I thought we'd been bombarding you. Oh, we're gonna smash you. Okay. Alright. Then we'll get this guy to come do the same. Ah. And just let that have taken up. Excellent. Well, maybe head down and try and get Elizabeth City as well. Cool. All right, let's bring frigates over here. Well, no, it doesn't make sense. We want to, we want to do that on the turn. We are going to advance. Mm, do I want to pressure Williamsburg? Okay, this is good. And then we had some more units. There's another Marines here. Let's bring them down and they can have land and take Elizabeth City. And then the next thing we need is lots of infantry to now hold the line. So let's get on a... Just a transport? Yeah. Oh, and you can move. Can you get off here? Hope we don't get attacked there. That would make me feel awful. Okay. And we want to do the same with at least you. Probably you as well. Three, three, what you call it? Uh, divisions. Thank you. I know the word. Okay. Yeah, you can't do it in moves. So you guys are going to be on that next turn. And then turn after, we might get Hooker. Everybody slowly works his way down. Okay. Sweet! That went pretty well, I'm happy with that. They'll suffer some morale damage, plus we have Norfolk, plus we have an, another angle of attack to try and get close to and put some pressure on Richmond. Meanwhile, can we... Can we cause some damage here? Well, actually, before we do that, there's something else which I wanted to do and talk about was move Curtis around. Because uh, supply in this middle is not very great. I kind of wanted to... Move him up to maybe where this chap is uh, to help spread out this fly a little bit. The sight lines are also terrible. I want to 
want to do. I want, like, you. I want over this direction to help. And I think I would also, like, to move some people around. Where can you get? So you can get in here. So let's pull you back one. You can have fill in the gap, hold the railway line. And we did confirm there is no one there. Now, what's the supply like in that X next turn? Five and six. It's not great. It's not terrible, but it's not great. And really doesn't get as much. Pushing through these mountains just sounds like a terrible idea. I'd rather they sit here and hopefully have supply issues. Although, probably not if they've got an HQ. Let's move Kurtz up there. That will help out. This five is going to pull out the line. Attack and then pull out the line. I will consider that option. Alright, let's put some part in. That was two for two. Can you say? Hmm, it's still not great. Sure, I'll take the one one. Ended up being a two zero. Nice. You pull back. You're going to bring him. Not gonna bring him in. I'm not gonna bring him in. Why not? Huh. Can move you up there. And I can bring in one more unit for attack, or I can bring you down here, but then I'm gonna leave a gap in my line. I don't really want to do it, so I guess I'm gonna shuffle you up. Well, hang on, I'll shuffle you up. I'm gonna come and hit this guy with the armor car. The train. It's my turn. You're gonna come down. Two, two. I want to hurt things. We're not doing. Oh, four, one. I'll take that. Hey, no problems. I right? glad to help. Hope it is of use. Okay, that was really good. Problems we can't finish people off. I remember last time we got a whole bunch of units down to like one health. Right, I'll take this even, Stephen. One. Good, and you guys get experience. Beautiful. I'm not going to take this 2-2, because -two, it's not worth it, because I'm not going to kill him, which would be advantageous. And my unit's worth more, so my 2 damage is more costly to me. I'm going to pass on that. Up here, though, I wouldn't mind a little bit of pressure on him. You're going to do it again, aren't you? Down to 4. I mean, uh, what's the chances, eh? What are the chances of there being no one in these three hexes? Well, we know there's no one here. Well, there might not be, you know. What's the supply in that hex like? Five. It's not the worst. You'd come in. I think that would prevent him running away. And then we can tighten our line one step forward from the right Let's let's go for it. Let's be a bit more aggressive, okay? Ah! Oh! Okay. That's also not terrible. Right. And then I'll happily soften, soften this guy up a little bit. We're going to do some. Uh, R and R. Yeah, that went. Okay, a pr pretty positive start. No kills, a couple of low units, which they'll probably just heal up, but a reasonable start to think. Let's not attack that. Fortunately, I'm going to do some surround, I think, there. All of the supply work from that. You guys just aren't really doing much. Bank, see if I can't reclaim this road. See if we see if test the waters for any con Confederate units down towards Sauton. Sauton, even. Okay. Good. Keep pressure on them. A couple of sides. They won't know what hit You're. Okay, it's part partisans. We do need to keep someone near Charleston. Winchester and here, yeah. Remember that going forward. Someone up here is required. So I've got McClellan and Charleston. Presumably, you just need to garrison the town beside it. 
we'll find out if they have a raise there. I might bring you over uh, and watch it, I think. Which is the best way. Down the road probably makes more sense. Uh, and see if you can't take up one of these positions. Meanwhile, Kentucky. We know there's someone in Bowling Green. There's probably someone in Springfield and that, but let's let's use our horses to do horsey stuff. Hello. Just how aggressive we get with this guy. That's interesting. The line hasn't changed at all. I will bring you into that. Bring you forward a smooch. Have you as well. Don't know what that circle's about. I need to look that up. Uh, okay, we'll maybe bring you down. We can help out. I kind of want to abandon this side of the river, to be honest. It's not been doing great things for me. Bring you up here. We'll bring one of our timberclads down as a bit of a blocker, and you can finally get a dodge. Hold that position for just now. Excuse me. This timberclad was just kind of skirting about for us. Oh, they have infantry weapons level one. That's something we absolutely need to keep on. This coming on. Trenton. Bottom bit. You guys are going to keep south. Do it tentative steps. It will scout out what's around Carthage and Joplin and all. Oh, looks like they're finally making a move in Fort Gibson. Good. Well, not good, but. And all the way out here. This little state of affairs. Bring you down to Santa Barbara for a start. Get you to front line. You're our strong unit. Also on the go out here? Not really. Okay. I mean, we could. Ah, uh, we don't really have enough. We could. We moved him out here and start trying to isolate this horse. Pretty risky, and I'm likely to get my garrison unit killed between these three prepared attacks. He's facing three of them anyway. He'll be slightly less entrenched, but... Let's do it. Let's be bold. Let's see. Come on, Mr. Horse. What's your plan? We'll bring you down here. We well, might zip into Santa Barbara behind us, but we'll cut him off. Alternately, I could get my entire force killed. All things are possible. Right, I've got three gumboats down here now. One to one. But rather we would need... I'll leave you there, actually, see if we can bait an attack. I could bring a third in. Oh, and the frigate. Okay, you know what? We're going to hold this turn. And then we're going to pull next turn to Strawfuck. there's no real rush. It's okay. You guys are just holding the line. That's absolutely fine. And then once we've freed up these kind of frigates, we need to go around blowing up forts, I think. You guys haven't moved. Do I want you to strengthen this line? Or do I want you to come down and support the... How many units have I got down here now? One... Oh no, you are. I've moved the ask. I will use you. Okay, that's fine. Purchase. Need more division. Always more division. Let's get... At least two of those. I would like maybe some more boats. Maybe some more gunboats. Let's maybe say two of these just to help clear out forts. I, ever, I think I ever get an ironclad. Did I? I can't remember. Hang on. One's wing production. Ironclad. We did have one ironclad on the go. Okay. 
Anything else? Mm. Research is presumably full. No! 450 points. Production technology popped. I will keep that one rolling. And leadership popped. And as discussed, oh, it's not leadership, it's telegraph. Okay, we'll keep leadership going. More HQ bonuses mean my men fight better. Excellent. Okay. Which means I don't have much money left. So, another gunboat. And that's probably enough gunboats, I would say. Should we're not neglecting anyone in our extremities. It's fine. You didn't do anything. There we go, we have it. We are neglecting people. Let's quiz my reinforced tool. Very handy. Get you up. X. Hang on, right? Let me move these guys. How, uh, how. Very firm prepared of me. So. I mean, this direction's safe, unless they come humping across the Appalachian, Appalachians. I don't think we're going to do So I think we want to move this guy down towards... Well, one heading towards Albany, and the one Somerset, London direction. You're just garrison Cairo. Okay. I'm glad I checked. Why are they so dug in? Alright, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Aha! Sucks to be you. Right. Hmm. Collection of voluntary infantry and cavalry has been formed in California, known as the California Column. Assume for service in New Mexico. That's useful. Um. We should make certain which route they can take. We can have them march along the Overland Mail route, which would arrive at Fort Bowie in southern New Mexico, or send them north. Further position, but could more continue east. We're going to say Fort Bowie. I want them in the south. Good. Mexican stuff. Creek. Ah, so these are the guys. This was the decision which I'd meant to say try and have a an uprising or takeover, coup, if you will, and clicked, misclicked. So we get a unit instead. Okay. Actually, it's, to be honest, that's kind of useful. Uh, it is taught to distort intentions, decide humility us as a nation to dismember our territory. This is the French intervention continue. Here's a telegraph. Perfect. Oh. Buying intelligence, which also helps your research um, get more light to get these boosts. And logistics. Just need those guns now. I might have to invest in that. We're lagging behind the confeds. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to sink next turn. Now, that's good, because he reinforced there, but he's uh, in a precarious position, so I'm pretty, pretty confident we can get the job done. Usually means it's going to fail miserably, but, you know. He did run away. Okay, so, I mean, <laughs> the plan half worked. He did attack me. I just didn't do any damage to him. Oh, new guns. Mm. This does not make me happy. Okay. Look at that. Right there. Okay. 
really do the headquarters over there. Oh, they've got a lot of guys with level 1 uh, infantry. Hello. Now, your, your attack value is, I think it's minus like 40% in the snow, something like that. Pretty, pretty nice. Okay. Oh, this is making me uncomfortable. So we have had some pretty good tech stuff, but we are apparently behind on weapons. Rebel forces now operating north uh, of North Ohio River, placing the states of Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois under threat. Also, ensure the security of these states. Will immediately issue a call for tens of thousands of volunteers, new infantry brigades of Salem, Indianapolis, and Chillicothe, as well as a cavalry brigade infantry division at Indianapolis. Uh. Yeah, I mean, this just seems like a massive, massive discount. Oh, yeah, cheaper than normal, so yeah. Why would you not say yes? And you get them straight away, beautiful. Okay, I'll, we'll do placements later. I'm gonna start with research for once. Got a bit of a gap. So we got spying intelligence, I did want to keep going. So we've got 550. Must got something. Ass. Logistics. Logistics. Flying intelligence. Field telegraph. Okay. We absolutely need. Put 250 into that. We are behind and that is bad, bad. We also absolutely need to make sure we're progressing this slower. Please us what, 150? We could go back to our field telegraph, which would be our last shit we have to put into that. Which is definitely worthwhile. Um, or we could start working on, say, skirmishers. Jory also useful, helps your uh, demoralization your infantry attacks. Let's go to range and unit limits. Not, it's maybe not as useful actually. Good. I think we've got enough HQs now. It's not hurting us. So let's go for scrap. Again, it's more efficient to have more chits in one because of the way mechanics work. And I'll get extra money for that chit. This is okay. Right. There is snow, so our attacks are going to be worse. So that's why you're seeing lots of these. Zero zeros, which is annoying because it's going to give him time to somewhat recover. Hmm, he said pensively. Hmm. Right. Oh, I, mm, okay, too much thinking. I'm going to come back to that. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to make a move on a Again, it might be tricky this time. Not giving me those lukewarm feels. Oh, that's good though. Yeah. Down. This is fine. This is fine because of this guy. A lot. There you go, Elizabeth City is ours. Sweet. Even more supply. I mean, you're going to pop in here. Take control of Norfolk. Let me go get surprise tigers. Oh, and indeed we can manage it quite effectively. Now they might well repair that, but I think we're on a on to a winner to take that one out next turn. Now we could swing Butler across over here, um, but we're also we're talking about bringing Hooker down. In fact, presumably, no. But it doesn't. Doesn't. It's not purely hex based. Which means we can also bring you guys down. Drop you off. Next turn. 
of a division there. You guys are going to jump on a transport. You'll have to come down. We'll drop you off at Elizabeth City. And then we'll go to see at some point. I need to pull the Marines out so I can use them elsewhere in the world. That's a good little start, I think. Happy with that. Garibaldi, here we go. Earth. Right, you're in a bad way, so let's move you guys over. Reinforce you up to the max. It's only eight because of supply. You guys don't have much of a choice but to reinforce. Me. Zero zeros. Who you can put down here? Special information. I mean, you might as well attack you at 10. Absolute bust, man. Get one build up there. Down here, can we put a bit of pressure on? Not hugely. Ah, oh, here we can. Well, you are staying at seven. No, that's okay. Chap at the back healed up. I think we're just gonna have to wait out the snow. It hurts them as much as it hurts us, but but grr, he says grr. I think I'll hit this guy and then maybe pull back to Sutton. Slightly worried about. You have to give up Beckley, you know. Just worry about being, about being flanked here. Bring you down. We may need a garrison act. Uh, Gyandot. We have these guys as well. Can't move very far at all. How far? Where can I rail you? He'll move. Yes. Uh, you here. You can help out. Good. Volunteers helping out already. You are going to head over in this direction and put some pressure on St. Louis. Who? Probably going to head in the same direction. We got in real line. I need to kill you somewhere you can turn. Where did. Uh, are you volunteers? I'm trying to where, where did I end up in Custer? Custer, is that him? Yeah. I, I wanted to send Custer out to fight Indians. It's, you know, on point, isn't it? Let's you send you. What's the real move? I can't. Where would you get to? We're just going to quickly move you up here. Start shipping you west. Right out in the plane. Right, you can take Lebanon. Field. Okay, cool. You're going to head down towards the spring. These guys also need these. What's the supply like in this general area? I can get you an 8. Well, actually, if I move you to Fort Belmont, I can give you a 10. It's listed. Get you reformed. You do some scouting. Okay. That's the force march you can get anywhere different. Okay. Hiding up there nicely though. Then I think you are just going to come so very, no, nowhere quickly. Sure. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice looking real move there. Uh, yeah, come down and help out. Okay. You might go help me in West Virginia. Happy with these volunteers. Oh, hello, Boxing Green. You seem, uh... Rather isolated. This way up. 
I'm beginning to feel like this cannon may have been. And rail move. On the railway line, I will force you march down here though. Much as I'll knack you. And the Rangers, you're going out west as well. Even though it's going to take a. It's the Rangers! They're out in the Wild West doing Wild West things. Okay, so I'm going to Paducah. Strength. And then maybe we can threaten Dresden. Angry shaking fists. Right, let's break. In. Winters. Let's not attack things in the winter. Aren't attacking things in the winter. Bad. I upgrade you. An episode to what? Upgrade. Ironclad. Engines. Mm, I might as well just hang in a port. Only 15 MPP. Oh, and we could attack you. Yeah, put you under pressure right away. Do that. We won. Don't mind if I do, sir. Why don't you have vision on the spring? You're peculiar. Okay, I'm assuming there's confederates around here somewhere. As one of the, he was probably supposed to go into Albany, but let's uh, maybe put pressure on that place first. Here we are. We're just being held down frustratingly by partisan. Okay. I think that's us. Winter styming uh, combat, as one might expect, to be perfectly honest. We have 333 MPP, which is not as much as I thought, maybe. We'd like to keep buying divisions. There was something else I was thinking of buying. Uh. Oh, maybe it was. Oh, new units. Them new units first, and then it was diplomacy I wanted to look at. Just had a tick on the pueblo. I do think we need to strengthen this theater? And actually, let's have someone. Let's have another one coming, getting ready. And then let's make a big push down here. Yeah, let's do it. Um, and then you, I think I'll earmark you for assisting down here. Well, two down here and we've got two more coming south. I like it. One more gunboat. Uh, let's, have, let's have one more to go and miss, I think. Or not, because you're here. Okay, so, yeah, we have one shit left. We could keep working on the Pueblo. UK and France are still fine. Uh, or we could keep working on the Apache and try and swing them to us. Maybe. How much is a new division? Because that's really what we want, isn't it? 285. Okay, so we won't have enough to do that. So let's start with this. I mean, are your stats any different? 4, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4. 4, 4, 3, 4. No, nothing seems to change. Oh, wait, let's get a mountain division. Awesome. Maybe. Well, it's gone through. Okay, button just UI glitch. Fine. Ah, we did one attack. Lost it. New Orleans. New Orleans. And it's not snowing down here. Let's do it. Where's this for? Open. I don't think you got the memo. I said, let's burst this fort open. 
Three is good. What damage though? Okay. Can't attack. Uh, I'm not, not going to get it, am I? Son of a gun. Okay. Four gunboats did three damage. So. Yeah, do we need a few more over there? Alright, turn the games. Uh, done, 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 done. I uh, just want to I check. Left anyone lying around anywhere? I stopped doing, except the fact that I probably haven't. Haha! Oh, come on! We're gonna be friends. Because I didn't invest 100. I didn't fight out here. That's what I forgot to do. Better forts, better leadership. Hey, that's my good. First, oh, he's going to die. Stakes it. And that's where we're going to leave this episode. So, stagnation on a few fronts there, but we did conduct a successful naval invasion and seize both Norfolk and Elizabeth City. So hopefully that will draw some of the Confederates off of the Richmond front and allow us to advance down that axis. But we will have to wait and see until next time. As ever, I do hope you have enjoyed it, and I'll catch you all then. Cheerio!